Today just really got interesting as we now have a lake that we've been notified about with two more missing persons cases. If you missed our last episode, we were in Little Rock, Arkansas, working six missing persons cases. We had some cold case investigators that saw our news release yesterday. We were on CNN, Little Rock News, and they came down this morning and they said, Jared, we need to work with you and make you aware of two more girls. Those girls in question, we're looking for a white Toyota Corolla, license plate number 290RHM. We're looking for Teresa and Shakina is who we're looking for on this one. This is in addition to Cheryl Denise Cottrell, as well as Caleb Pitts, Ernie Tate, Jean McIntry, Brian Morris, Brian Graves, all missing within their vehicles. This is one episode we're gonna bring you into right now. that's just disappeared. Uh -huh. The car's gone. One of them's leg showed up in the river. And it just just south of the dam right there. Okay. Or just this side of the dam. And, uh, and we did DNA on that leg. So we feel that they're on the other side of the, da of, of the uh, dam someplace. Right. What kind of car? It's a white Toyota Corolla. Okay. And uh, I've got the license plate number and all that. If you can read my writing. Yes, yeah, it'll be close <laughs> enough. White Toyota Corolla license plate. 2009 Corolla. And it, so this this Perfect. is seven years old. This is, yes. Okay. So, the, so I mean, we, we know there was one body in the water. Yeah. And we're just stuck. Right. I mean, we're, we've not been able to go anywhere else. If we can find these this car. And right. These yeah, bodies, the, the car is going to lead you. Right, right. Cold. It's one thing about finding hiding a body that's easy to do, but to hide a body and a car, that's hard. And that's why we target cases with people missing along with their vehicles, because we can find the vehicle. You can't hide a vehicle underwater from us. And if we get to that vehicle, like you guys said, one step further and... Well, we, we definitely feel that, I mean, I say definitely, we feel that they were in their car because of finding the leg in the water. Right. That they were in their car, and their car's never been how long after they were missing was the leg found? About a year. About a year. About a year. Okay, so you were possibly talking about uh, them being in the car and then something maybe busting a window, yeah. some contents coming out. Oh, could have went by and hit that car or yeah. anything. And but ye ye yesterday, the first car we found, uh, you know, was missing its entire roof from what I would say is just a lot of boats hitting it over 20 years. You know, and it was only when I got to it, I could stand on it out in the water in my dive suit and be above water. So, uh, and, and there were marks on the, on the frame of the vehicle uh, where it was ripped. The lid was basically ripped off the top where you could tell something was hitting it. We're just going to uh, jump in, start doing our thing. Okay. And if you have any questions, okay. like so we'll, we're going to finish this one because we finished over here yesterday. And then we're going to jump over there on the upstream side. And then we're just going to start working our way through town. So last night we ended up being on CNN, we ended up being on the local news here in Little Rock. This morning we have a police investigator that works the cold case division, uh, heard about us being in town and came down to make sure that we're also aware of two more missing persons cases. So that now brings us up to 
eight missing persons cases that we're working in this river looking for seven vehicles in total. Family here that's ask you to come and search. Or? This one we could not get a hold of the family. So, um, sh uh, uh, sh Cheryl Denise Cottrell. Yeah, I, I I reached out to the daughter's friend. The daughter's friend made a really big you know awareness video on Facebook. Um, you know, I did reach out. I sent private messages and stuff. I just never heard anything back. I looked through the people who had liked that video as well that I could tell were closely related due to their comments. I sent them messages too and we just haven't heard anything back, which on Facebook, if you're not directly linked to friend, it puts it into a spam kind of folder, you know, so you don't really see it unless you're looking in that folder. And, it, and it's a hard thing too for you guys, you know, without new leads or anything like that, it's, it's, it's hard for departments to justify keep keeping resources on it, you know, and then that's unfortunately the, the result and a lot of missing people and cold cases. Thankfully, DNA evolved and gave you guys an extra an extra way of trying to get a lead on a cold case, which is which y'all are successful in that. Every time I pick up the paper, I'm reading about uh, you know, someone who's been tracked down because a family member left DNA, you know. This area is clear. Okay, so what I'm really interested in here is where was the leg found? About 150 yards this side of the dam, on this bank. On this bank? On this bank, yes. Okay. There's another boat ramp right on the other side of this freeway on this side. Is that the two rivers? Right of Riverview Drive. So we, so we, we, yeah, so we already did two rivers. We did that yesterday and morning. A Honda there. It's a white Honda. And then when we get up into this area between the dam and here, you're getting down to a foot and a half, three feet. Right. So there you, isn't any so access we, to it between yep. two rivers and yep. here. And so we did scan this area here down from the boat ramp. So right here at the, so you have two boat ramps here. The first boat ramp here is where the Honda is at. You have no other vehicles in this area. And you also had no other access other than potential access right here if they wanted to drive into the water, but it gets too shallow here. So then we start breaking this down. We ended up checking out this boat ramp as well, right here. That, one, that one is clear. This is before the dam on the north side. On the north side of the dam. Yep. It's on the, that's Crystal Hill, I think. And so that boat ramp is, is off of Cook's Landing Road. So that boat ramp has been cleared and then see where the mud starts again. That's where it gets shallow for the foot and a half to three feet. Okay. Getting the boat stuck in there. So now we start breaking it down. All right, now that we've cleared this entire side of the river here, one thing that we want to look at is look for the unconventional, not just boat ramps. And so right now, since we've already cleared this boat ramp and this boat ramp, is there any other potential? Now we come to this park here. And with this park, I saw that they've had the fence there. So. So that's one thing that we can actually uh, take a look at that we should actually leave the boat in the water and run up here real quick because it's just around the corner from where we're at. Mm -hmm. Really, since the boat's already in the water here, let's not even take it out. Let's leave it in because now let's start breaking it down to, we have a parking lot over here. In the middle. In the very middle. 
How long has that parking lot been there in the middle? Yeah, it's been there quite a while. Yeah, that's been there. That's been there quite a while. Okay. Years. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in that too. Cause so, a common person thinking that that's out there in the middle, they might think that's deep out there. Oh, it's a large, it's a large parking lot. Yeah. Well, there's a parking lot on the north side of the north side. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, it almost Maybe looks like you can and fish in here. Yeah. There's a, a uh, in there an electrical plant or something on the other side of the hydro plant. Upstream. There, uh, upstream, there was a, a road that you used to be able to drive on. Now, it's closed to to traffic. It's on this, just on this side of the, the, the bridge, the freeway bridge. And that road runs all along there, and there, there are several places along there. Uh, on this side of the river? Yeah, on this side. Okay. So we have the 430 bridge. Yeah, okay. There's a... There's a little road right along here that leads up to the hydro plant that's no longer available to drive vehicles down. But they could, and that's been closed, what, two years or so since they, they started? Been longer now. It's been they closed it after this and, come up this. And, and that's an area that's, I mean, real easy where you could, you could drive or push a car off into the water there. Okay. Yeah, and we're talking about just down downstream from the lock here? Yes, this way. So keep going this way. Yeah, it's, okay, here's the end of the big damn bridge and it's this, that, this road all the way back. That's now the river trail. Right. Okay. So th this is where it ended up being a foot and a half in there. Oh, uh, okay. And then based on the foliage that you have there as well, it's not a normal location to drop something off. Looks like you have an old parking lot there too. Yeah. Yeah, we did find what we thought was a vehicle near the bridge, but that ended up being a boat. All right, so game plan. What are we going to do for a game plan then? Sc right. Scan that up. Well, right now we have the boat right here. We're actually still here. The trailer's open. I would say let's throw the boat back in. Let's run this section here because you have the, the this section here mm -hmm. by the park. We don't know how long that fence has been right here. Right, so and, and we also know fences are replaced and nobody ever questions why the fence was broken. Yep, and then let's run it up here because you can also drive through the park here. So let's let's run that right now. And then while the boat's in the water there too, let's see if there's any barriers here, but let's also nail this and this. Yeah, no point there. And nail all of this because you have old roads and access points to get down through there. You can actually see that people are driven down there too. And you did two rivers park yesterday? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's did where we do, found our first car. Did you do uh, Maumel Park? Which one's that? Maumel? Yeah. Um, we did not. We did not. We, we, we actually thought we were going to Little Maumel Park, but we ended, somehow, when we got there, it just said Two Rivers Park. Are, are they near each other? Or yes. Is it are. upstream from Two Rivers? Yes. Oh, so that we haven't had, we haven't gotten that. And that would be upstream from where the leg was found. When, when you went, yes, that that would be upstream. When you, you um, guys went to uh, Two Rivers Park. Yeah. You turned in and it's 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 gate it's gated. I mean the gates open and. Yeah, yeah. Drove all the way through. Yeah, there. there's a there's a canoe club, kayak club, little shack back there in the right there near the ramp. We got a uh, cold case investigators here, and uh, we have two more cases. Come to find out that we're looking for a Toyota with two girls that are also missing from 2014. Oh, wow. Um, okay. I'll introduce you, and if you uh, have room on your boat today and you want to take them out scanning, you can do so. All right. Okay, this is this is actually where we ended up yesterday driving through those neighborhoods, so I, I know what you're talking about. We ended up, I think this is the one. It was a state park, and they just built like a bunch of new restrooms and everything there. Is that the one? You were, you were in there, the Markham, Marmel, whatever it was, Park. Marmel Park. Yeah, whenever I uh, uh, pinged you, that's where you were. Okay. No, this is a different one. Because the one we went to was in a little cove, and the uh, okay. the crane was actually uh, walking out there. You could see it. So we went somewhere else further up here. Pinnacle, that's where we were. Oh, we were. And, and that one's shallow. So we have a white Toyota Corolla that's missing. The a leg bone of one of the girls was found right here, just below the locks, off of this area right here. Okay. 
right now that's the only thing we have. So as we start breaking this down, you were over here and this actually used to be a road before it became the river trail. So when you went in here, did you scan this entire thing or did you just hit it from the bridge back here? Oh. Where, so, so the boat, uh, the wait, boat wait was here. How, how long ago? I mean, uh, Two what days. type of vehicle? White Toyota Corolla. White Toyota. Did you see it? It was an object that I couldn't figure out what it was and it was right, right around in this area. Yeah, so that all makes sense because you have a bone that was found right here. And there's two girls that are missing with this car. I couldn't figure out what, what it was. It's was just some weird looking object. And how long ago was it? 2014? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's going to be semi covered because it's a small car. But not covered. Down, rounded front end. To, uh, do we know what year the car was? 2009. So 09 is rounded. Yeah. It's not square. The oh, 80s are square. Yeah. It's rounded. 90s is when they started, 92 is when they started rounding cars. Small car silted down. Couldn't figure it out what it was. I'm going to say that's an object that you need to check out. Okay. So let me do this then. Let me head back up to Two Rivers Park. We'll put in there and then we'll scan it down. We'll have you put in here and scan everything up here. Hit this and this. Hit all of this and just do all your scanning here. When you see this object, Jerry, oh, it's almost all the way up against the ran uh, the the land. Yeah, it's only gonna be 35 feet off. It drops off sure. from 10 feet. I'm sorry, from 10 feet out, it just drops off to like 20 feet. And the object was on this side. Was or on side? This I can almost pinpoint it right there. Okay. All right. Yeah, it just you'll see it. It's plain as day, but I couldn't figure out what it was. Put in on the other side, though. It's only three feet in here. Yeah, yeah, right. don't, yeah, don't put it in here. Okay. Okay. So why don't you uh, work all of this today, and just start marking your targets. Okay. There's two other boat ramps also as well. So scan in on your Google and really focus. You know, you have these river trails used to actually be roads. So make sure that we're hitting that. All of those for potential entry points. I don't think you're getting into here. But as you go down, there's some uh, additional boat ramps. Just hit all the boat ramps on this side and that side. Hit all the boat ramps and... Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah, I'll put it in over there and we'll, we'll, we'll head out. Um, but yeah, so that object is like 5 to 10 feet out from the shore. And it's like ten, about 8 to 10 feet deep. Okay. But you'll, you'll see the object. It, but after he said that, it's a small car. Yeah. It kind of makes sense. I just ruled it out as a boat because could never get a good angle at it. Right. If he says it's a small car, then that could be a possibility. Okay, we'll go double check it, appreciate it. All right, let's get this thing going. All right, so this location that we're back at right now is Two Rivers Park that we started yesterday's search at. We found one vehicle right out here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna scan this old road that's now the, uh, the uh, Arkansas Trail or whatever this trail system is, used to be an old road. And while the detectives that we were speaking to this morning believe everything they look into is foul play, right now I personally believe that this is an accident location based upon the road, two girls speeding, We've seen it time and time again, and so that's, you know, fingers crossed that there is no foul play involved in this one, but let's go see if we can find their vehicle down here. And yesterday's scan when we were down here, you can see where you could potentially drive a car off the bank right here. This is where we stopped as we came underneath the bridge. There's this little uh, part of a dock system here. It's only six feet deep here, and then we ended up turning back around, going up and verifying that other car, and then diving on it before heading down to the east to where those other vehicles were at. Our search today is now gonna take us on the other side of the 430 uh, interstate here, highway, and then that's where our search is gonna begin along this old road, which is now the new trail system. You know, because we're not dealing with white caps yet, the sonar is actually reading pretty good. And a lot of that also has to do with the, the way that the wind is blowing. It's actually coming in from you know, this side of the mountain. So we're actually not on the rough side of the sea right now, what I'm gonna call the sea, the river here. 
and we're also closer to shore. And so with those two factors, it's going to put us in a position where we're going to be able to scan this no problem for where we need to head down to right now. All right, now we're starting to hit a deeper pockets. We're, so we're out of the four feet. Now we're into six to seven feet. So this is where we're going to start looking for something might potentially be in here. You can actually see the old road up there. You can see a guardrail. Don't know how long the guardrail's been there, but I know that on this route as well, if you look on Google, there's also a parking lot that's up there. And as we've learned in the past, a guardrail or a bridge railing, none of those matter in these cases. So we can see a tire here. So, I mean, if we can see a tire, we're gonna be able to see a car. All right, we have a car. We have a car right here. Yep, 100% there's one car. And this is not where Jacob said the car was at. So this one is completely separate from our first discussion. And bring us back over it. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna identify with the shoreline, like which tree is it off of. And so right now I know it's off to the left. So we're gonna go left a little bit. All right, coming up on there. So see how we're bouncing, but we still have a car. As to what kind of car? I don't know what kind of car, but see the wheels there? So it's upside down. So I'm gonna mark this one and run it to shore, and then we'll go look for another vehicle or two. And so it's gonna be 12 feet down. messing with us with the waves. So you can see my magnet bouncing here. Coming up to it there, and we're gonna try to snag it and hit it. Come on, come on, come on, hit it, hit it. All right, oh, no, all right, I got a lock. Let's take us back over it. Make sure that's what it's locked on. Yep, yep, I'm locked on it. I can see my rope, I can see my magnet, I can see the wheel. All right, now we're gonna take that to shore. Now, why we're so interested in this, this particular car is we're really focusing in on where that bone was found down river from here. And if we focus on any cars here with a bone that might potentially move and float, this is going to increase the odds of what it is that we're looking for for that Toyota is what we're after right now. All right, so let's go take a uh, picture of it for him. I'm getting no side scan. My side scan is not working at all. I don't know what's going on. See all that? That's not reading at all. So something's wrong with side scan. Like we buggered it up while we we're on shore or something. It ran into shore or something. I may have ruined it. Yeah, so see, this is supposed to be lined up with this. So we got it jammed and it's not working. We'll see if this will reset it. I'll change some settings, see if we can get it working again. There we go, now it's showing up on the sides again. I'm gonna make it better though. That was just us kind of floating past it. So, there it is on side scan. There it is on down imaging. And if you look at the charts here, or the grid lines, it's sitting in 15 feet of water. Let's keep scanning now. I'm gonna go back to where that car was at and then we'll continue our scan all the way down here. Based upon that and Jacob's information this morning, I'm uh, kind of expecting right now that we're gonna find another vehicle down here. The other one 
Jacob kind of made, it left me with the impression that it's going to be sitting up on its wheels. And it's going to be down probably about 300 yards from here. I think, I think, I think we have another vehicle. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Let me see. Come back over here. Oh, we, yeah, we might have another vehicle here. It's right there on the right. So see that pile there? So now that I've hit it at three different angles, I can clearly see that it is not a vehicle. You can see the logs in there. And it also comes up square rather than rectangle like, like a vehicle. Hi, how are you? Yeah, so uh, one thing right now, um, I'm actually on the water. Um, we're working eight missing persons cases um, in Little Rock, Arkansas. It, yesterday it was six and then uh, cold case detectives just found out about us today and they just came down and they told us about two more. Um, I kid you not, but I just found a second vehicle within the last 15 minutes. I have to let you go right now. I'm so sorry. Do you really? Yes. Oh my gosh. Um, so I got to mark this one and then uh, get, let me mark this one and then as I'm scanning more, I'll, I'll call you back, okay? Is this, is, yeah, I would love that. Okay. Right, so I'll mark this and then I'll do some uh, camera work for you so that way you can actually see what it is that we've got here. But right now I got to find it again. Okay, now is it further from shore or closer to shore? That's, so it's right off of this. So now let's turn. Right there, it's right underneath of us right here. And it's 14 feet down. Yeah, it's upside down, I can see a wheel. And is it closer to shore or further from shore? All right, so it's closer to shore. Okay, we're coming up to it right there. There we go, solid lock. We're right on it. And I'll, I'll take you back over it in just a minute and give you some good solid readings on it. I thought I was only going to need one marker today, but we're already up to two. We're not even at Jacob's location yet. Come on, we're filling up the boat now. Waves are getting bigger. This is not good for us at all. My transducer's messed up. I'm not even down to the location that I want to get down to yet. I'm getting frustrated. Oh yeah, see if I scan this way, then my sonar works just fine, Carson. So it's the waves, the waves that the way that the waves are hitting my sonar over there is what's causing me the big issue. See how my sonar is really good, and the boat right now is protecting us from the big waves coming in over on the right right now. But now watch when I, as soon as I turn this, and we start going the other way. See how these lines start kicking in? It's the way that those waves are slapping it over here. Not so much, I can still see portions of it, so we're gonna be okay for now. God, I'm getting nothing. Like, I'm so freaking pissed off right now. Just look at this entire thing, Carson. Like, entire thing is blacked out. Like, I can't see anything. It's like reading a classified document right now. Frustrated. Okay, I'm gonna try scanning. I'm gonna keep the scan going here. I'm gonna make it down to where the uh, the lock is at there, and then hopefully we can get like see like right now, calm down a little bit. So I have a little bit of a reading enough, and then hopefully on the way up I'll be able to get a good reading. Coming up close to that area now that Jake was mentioning. You, oh, in fact, I think that's it right there. So he mentioned this little outlet right here and you can barely see it because of like my little blackout. But let's turn around and see if I might've just found another vehicle. So we need a good clean reading on my left hand side is what I need. All right, here it is right here. Boom, there it is, it is a vehicle. It's right here. Let's try to figure this out from the shoreline and how far out and then get a good live scope image so I can say yes 100% or not. I, I can't say for sure or not. But look how close the road is right there where the guardrail's at now. It's 
So I think we need to put a diver in the water. I'm getting no reading on this right now because we're bouncing around too much. That's seven feet deep right there. So it's off of that rock right there. I can't tell. I'm bouncing around too much. Well, I don't think that it is. I think it's a boat. And the lines aren't right. So I'm going to say no on that one. We're going to have to just dive on these two today and then we're going to have to shut this thing down today. This is what I was concerned about this morning with the weather and the wind. Ah, the entire thing is... Look at that, Carson. The entire thing. Like, I can't, I, can, I look, I can see right here. The rest of it, freaking blacked out. The entire thing. Tomorrow, yeah, I mean, look, I mean, we're dealing with two foot swells right now. We're filling up the boat with water. All right, we can't even finish this today. Like, this is becoming unsafe for us to even run. Like, I would love to run the rest of that right now. Like, I hate walking away from it, but we just gotta get the boat back up. So I think we're gonna stay an extra day for sure. I mean, I'm gonna say for sure. We're gonna push back some of our other cases. We need to come back when the water is calm and we need to scan from here down. And then we still have probably two more days, at least in this area, if not more, that we can spend down here. We still have eight cases total. Let's say that we do solve one of these today. That still gives us six cases to solve, seven cases. Hey, Doug, yeah. so this is not something where, like, with these winds, I don't want to take the boat back down. You can see how full we are right now. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we can get those investigators back over here and gain access to that road down there and get you down to both of those locations. Right off the shore there? Yeah. They're, they're, yeah, they're just, like, psh, right off the bank. up and everything? Not even buoy. I have you aligned. Oh, We're only, like, wow. 30 feet offshore. That's awesome. Even that. Um, two targets, but then because of the conditions and the sonar not working in this. Yeah, I knew I knew when you left that like, we, it was a race against time. Yeah, so we're going to, 100%, I'm going to push back our other cases on this trip. We're going to stay here another day or two. We have to. Yeah. But let's dive on these today. Okay. See if it's what we're looking for. If it is, we can pull them out because we're, no, we're done with sonar right, right. now. Um, I need the uh, de de detective's uh, investigator's information. I think he's still with Jacob. We, we Hello. Hey, Jared. Yeah. Hey, um, so we have two targets and we're blown off the water, so I can't even finish running this entire uh, uh, old roadside over here. We're going to get Doug ready to suit up. Do you guys want to come over here and uh, also come be a part of it? But also, can you gain, get us access down onto this old road on the trail? Sure. Okay. Sounds yeah. good. So you're, you're on the other side of the, the bridge, right? Yeah, so we're on the uh, west side of the 430 bridge at the boat ramp. Right now is okay. where we're at. Yep, I know where that is. We'll head over there. All right, sounds good. Thanks. Okay. All right, bye. bye. Hey, what's up, sir? Hello. Hello. Hey there. Hi, hey, buddy. Hey, I just spoke with the investigators. They're going to head over here to Two Rivers where we started yesterday. And we have two targets that uh, they're going to get us access onto this river trail road so we can dive right off the shore shoreline there. Okay. Uh, where are you at? Are you staying on the water? We we got blown off in our little boat, so we're done with the boats for today, and we're gonna dive on these two. We're by um, Burns Lake. We're down by Burns Lake. Okay, so you guys are still in the water. Yeah, um, we actually found a car that we're going to. Uh, he's already, he's getting suited up. We're gonna dive on it. Okay, and you still have with you, or did you already drop them off? I had with me, but um, he went. He went to use the restroom, so I told him I'm going to go mark this vehicle, and then uh, uh, Eric's getting dressed to dive on this vehicle. Okay, sounds good. All right, so uh, yeah, I don't know if uh, picking up or I said I don't know if going to pick up or if going to stay with you. So yeah, you guys keep doing your thing, and uh, yeah, good luck, and uh, I hope that you find something that we're looking for, and we'll keep you posted over here. All right, then, buddy. All right, thanks, bye. All right, bye. 
All right. Awesome. So it sounds like we'll have some access for you. So what we have right now is, did you see the two locations? No. Uh, where we're at. So let me show you the two locations were in question of where we, not in question, like I actually have vehicles that we're going down to go dive on. So the first one here, so right now we're at the park. Yeah. And if you come down on the trail, right there, that exact location that you're roundabout is where the first vehicle is at, 25 to 30 feet offshore. Yeah. I have it, I have a magnet on it and I have a line to shore. So if we can talk you into getting us access down here where we can just drive everything down here and put Doug right in the water, we'll pull off here at the first location and we'll tell you exactly what that car is and if it's the one that's in question today. Yeah. Then from there, the second one, just a little bit further down from it, is right here. Same thing, this one's even closer to shore. So this one's only about 20 feet out. Okay. And we can just drop him right over the bank into the water there. So we can just stay, probably just stay parked at this location. Does that work for you? Yeah, let me call Little Rock to see how we can get access to that. And I know that there's an area down here where there's been some erosion. Okay. Where part of the road has... Trail. Yeah, part of the trail has sunk. So. Okay. I'm good, at, I'm good at backing up too, so if I have to back up the whole way, we can do that as well. Okay. I, I believe the main obstacle so. is going to be the, the gate that's right up here. Yeah. And as long as we get a parks guy to open that up, we oh, get or, our equipment down there. And or, we just bounce the cur or we just bounce the curb right here. <laughs> Looks like we just bounce the curb and go right in there. Okay. Big thing is just proper permission. Thanks, John. Uh, I've made contact with Little Rock. They're really busy right now. They just had a shooting near school. Okay. So she's going to call me back uh, and see who, we, who she's got to call to get permission to open that up. Okay. So it may be, it'll be a little while. Oh, okay. dude. Maybe we just throw everything in a wagon and just start walking things down. I mean, we could have already been well, there. You know, we'll, we'll just do that. It, it's not that far. Yeah. A walk and... Um, Other people do it, so like for exercise, like I'm a, I'm opposed to exercise, but I can do it today. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just do that. All right, we, we got it covered. We'll throw it in a wagon and walk things down. I, I think that's going to be your best bet. Okay, sounds good. You want me to walk with you? I'll be um, you what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull. Is there yeah, par parking, parking for the RV over there? Okay, so we'll pull everything over there and then we'll throw it in there. Okay. first initial impression of it.
try to identify what kind of vehicle it is. It's gonna be a gold farm truck. I got white wall tires. I'm gonna say it easily from the 80s. Confirmed, I got an old farm truck, uh, white wall tires from the 80s. I'm sorry, well, 80% of the body's already rusted, completely thrown, and also non-existent. 80% 80, 80 of the body's already rusted through. Doesn't even exist anymore. Visibility, we're gonna go to flip. I'm at the rear of the vehicle. I'm gonna be checking for a plane. Confirmed, you're looking for a plate. Also, before you come up, make sure you uh, release my magnet, please. Confirmed, thank you on the air. I am at the driver's side window. I'm gonna check for remains so that we can clear it. Let's release my magnet now. Vehicle is clear. Vehicle is clear. We're coming up with the magnet line. Vehicle is clear. It's coming up with the magnet line right now. All right, about 150 yards to the next one. Really old farm truck. Been down there for probably about 30 years. At least unidentifiable. I just know it's a truck. <clears throat> really old white wall tires. No identifiers, license plates, emblems, or anything. It's all rusted off. All right, just on the other side of this tree before the next tree. So we gotta look, start looking for a place to go down over here. So probably this right here looks like a good little patch to go through. So I've got a uh, line in the water right over here. So it looks like maybe right here we can get in. Picked up on it's really buried. I got nothing else. Working with about a foot of visibility. It's murky. I'm starting some stuff up. Uh, looks like this is a really old vehicle here. Definitely been down here 15 plus years. 17 plus uh, in a long vehicle could give us a 1985 Delta Royale. Air check. Sand-like material. All four wheels are exposed. Vehicles 
upside down. No other identifiers other than the license plate that I have in hand. I'm going to remove the magnet line now and begin my ascent. This vehicle is not a target that we are looking for. Huh. No other identifiers on it at all, the model emblems. Uh, but you got two letters to go off of it. So where does that leave us now? Well, I think what we've already confirmed is we are going to be staying in the area at least another two days. With eight missing persons, there's no way we could say no. Yeah, so far in less than two days, we found 10 vehicles. 11, with 11. the uh, one that Jacob just found as well. All right. And so he is out on the water today as well, Jacob Grove from Chaos Divers. His link is in the description. Go check out his video and the vehicle that he found today. He's gonna be taking off, so he will not be joining us the next couple of days. They have a birthday party to get to. We wanna say thank you to everybody involved from you know, Little Rock PD coming down to the news coming down. Okay. This is, uh, we're not done yet, and uh, we're gonna do everything we can to solve at least one of these cases, if not all of them.